urinary incontinence after savage radical prostatectomy, risk factors and differences between open and robotic approach in a high volume single center. I have no affiliations to disclose. Prostate cancer represents the most commonly diagnosed non-cutaneous cancer in men. Approximately 30% of patients who receive external beam radiation therapy for localized prostate cancer or brachytherapy will undergo biochemical frequency within the next five years. Between 20 to 30% of patients who have frequency after radiation therapy still have a localized disease and they might benefit from salvage therapy with curative intent. Salvage radical prostatectomy represents a challenge due to its technical difficulties and post-operative complications that affect quality of life. So we identified rates of urinary incontinence at one and two years follow-up after salvage radical prostatectomy, as well as risk factors for urinary incontinence. In both open and robotic approaches in a single high volume Latin American referral center. For this study, we perform a retrospective analysis between May 2004 and June 2017. We examined 68 electronic medical records. 46 patients had open and 22 robotic salvage radical prostatectomies. All patients had confirmatory prostate biopsy prior to surgery. And patients who had at least one year follow-up were included in this study. We defined continence as the use of no pads. Mild incontinence, one pad, moderate two pads, and severe three or more pads per day. In these tables, you can see the demographic data. For the statistical analysis, we use an SPSS 23.0 TM software and Stata 8.0 TM. At one year follow-up, 18 patients had urinary incontinence, that's 26.47%. Of these patients, 2 had a robotic surgery and 16 the open approach, that's 34.2%. So the open approach was a urinary incontinence predictor with a P of 0.002. In six patients, urinary incontinence was severe, and all of them were open surgeries. We also found, as predictors of urinary incontinence, urethrovesical nastomosis stenosis and time to probe extraction. At two years follow-up, 17 patients presented urinary incontinence. That's 25.5. 37%. And we found, found that the open approach, hypertension, and brachytherapy were predictors of urinary incontinence with a P close to significance. In salvage radical prostatectomy compared to robotic, the open approach increases the risk of urinary incontinence in five times, both at one and two years follow up. At one year, urethrovesical anastomosis stenosis and time to probe extraction were predictive factors for severe urinary incontinence. Hypertension and brachytherapy show a tendency towards being predictive factors of urinary incontinence in the long term follow up. So, as a conclusion in our series, after salvage radical prostatectomy, the open approach represents a risk factor for urinary incontinence.